What's you know handy to know is that this is still running at 60 frames a second. No problem. Now our instances are pretty tightly packed here. If we want to add more instances, we should probably push the scale down a little bit more. So I'm going to turn it down to say not 0.01. All right. I'm going to say, Matt, those are just too small to see anything. And I'm going to tell you, just you hold your horses there, tiger, because we're about to get crazy. Uh, what we want to do here over here on our noise page in our channel, right now we're only going up to 10. Now this is expressed a second, so let's go ahead and change this to samples. So right now we only have 0 to 599. We've got 600 of these so far. What if we wanted uh, like 1,200 of these? Okay, so let's double it. That's not so bad. Well, let's like 400 is boring. Maybe 4,000 is more interesting, right? That's certainly more exciting. Um, 10,000 might be even more exciting. Now you'll see we're starting to hit some kind of performance situations, which is all right. And you might be saying, well, pfft, where's that? Where's that coming from? What's happening? Well, if we take a look at our noise, a big chunk of this is coming from our noise, right? Because we've it takes a lot of computation to kind of generate a bunch of kind of pseudo random numbers that quickly. You know, 10,000 is nothing to kind of sneeze at. Um, so, you know, what if I wanted to do something like this, but, you know, I don't want this kind of rigmarole? Well, luckily for you, there's a way for us to think about that. And we just have to think about it as uh, kind of the way that our GPU might think about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this down to like 1,000. Again, that's a pretty reasonable number. That's still going to cost us uh, two milliseconds. That's, you know, it's not cheap for us to kind of uh, generate some random numbers that way. Okay, so how could we push this a little bit harder and a little bit you know further in some respects? Well, let's start this transformation and let's take a look at what that might mean. So if we were instead to think about how our GPU might think about this, our GPU could think about encapsulating um, multiple values into a single pixel, right? So TX, TY, TZ, right, might be an awful lot like RGB, right? We can kind of think of these as a single value bound all together. And to help kind of point that out a little bit more clearly, Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to add a constant chop here to my network. I'm going to change its resolution to one by one. So this is only one pixel. I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a chop. And we can see that, you know, this thing, even though it's only one pixel, right, it actually has four values that are associated with it. Right, that's kind of the majesty and beauty of of when we think about things in different data types is that all of a sudden what might seem like just a single entity actually encapsulates much more information.